Haha, I got myself another toy. Here we are. This is smart plug. And the reason I decided to get this particular one because it was relatively cheap for those two um, uh, CE smart home um, smart power outlets. So I always compare this stuff to Sonoff stuff which I have uh, posted some time ago in my video and this turned out to be relatively cheap for what it is and I got it in Costco so that's mean excellent return warranty sorry policy and warranty because other stuff doesn't have anything whatsoever. Also this crop should be certified so that means it can be used in homes across the Canada because I bought it in Canadian Costco it's com well, the, the, it's compatible with Alexa and Google Home and thanks to the Google Home has two languages and yada, yada, yada. So, but two most important thing. This is inexpensive, actually cheaper than um, Sonoff in uh, unit like, similar unit like that or about the same price. And also it's certified. So it has all certification required to be present and operate in, in homes. So, negative about it. I think this, those guys are 10 amps tops, not 15. So keep that in mind. On the back side here, we have some information and uh, not much going on. Doesn't really say straight out how many amps this thing support, but I read something about 1200 watt maximum. So we just derived like 10 amps, but we will see um, a little bit more about these devices when we try to play with them. But for now, my most interesting uh, task would be to just to get them open and see what the hell is inside. So let's get to it. Okay, I'm gonna use my trusty knife to break them free from this oversized packaging and I'm gonna be obviously doing them this kind of job surgical precision we will free one well technically we don't need second one whatever just gonna even, don't even bother so we have one all right so this unit is relatively small and actually yes i was right 124 volt 10 amps 60 hertz and uh, i think it's matter <laughs> uh resistive or general purpose 5 amp max okay so 125 vac 60 hertz 10 amp max 1250 watts and then it says resistive or general purpose 5 amp max resistive means i guess that's all induction uh, resistance because for example like motors and things like that devices which would create uh, induction resistance uh, get general purpose 5 amp max i think you can get it like this is really confusing but anyways look at those old standards yeah and they also mentioned 625 tungsten lamp 625 watts of tungsten lamp so which is 5 amp max why this is this is really hell of a confusing uh, information so that's quite limiting Mm -hmm. So why are they talking about 1250 then if tungsten lamp, which is pure resistance, pure, pure resistance is uh, 625. This essentially means that this is 5 amp device, hence it's so small. Yeah, this is only all, all I can say. Well, at least it has ground pin. That's positive, isn't it? Anyway, so it's really small device. It's, it's actually quite a bit smaller than some of the device what I have. I'm gonna bring it to compare and looks like it's a solid unit. In order to actually get it open, I would have to do some destructive stuff, looks like, because it's completely sealed over here. Hmm. I have uh, already a um, proven way of keeping open uh, sealed units, so I have to resort to it. Yeah. Oh, whoa, guys. That was happening very, very slowly after a lot, a lot of persuasion. Using my new tools to poke around this thing, hammering it with the hammer around perimeter over here. I freaking finally got through it. I didn't want to do any major destruction over here. There's a little destruction, like for example, this little thing, and there is more. So finally, I got through. So here we are, this is what we have inside, I'm not sure, I hope we're gonna, I would be able to get any f even further, but I don't see any screws and this, 
Oh, this PCB is... Oh my god, I can't just... I can just pull it out. I can't pull it out. Can I? Go. I think the button, button here... Hmm. Okay. Just try to push it out. Oh, it just goes out like this. Here we are. Finally, I completely disassembled this bad boy. Took me like freaking forever to get through it. Okay, let's take a look what we have here. So obviously we have nice and beefy, but for some reason there's a lot of blobs, like solder blobs. Uh, main connector, obviously it's grounded and things like that. Can I, will they be able to? Oh yeah, I have to can unscrew over here and check a look more. There's some more Componentry on uh, down here. I believe this is gonna be more power stuff. Uh, this is a relay of Sanyo. Doesn't look like Sanyo because it Sanyo U. Sanyo U. Cool. 1.2 amp. No, 12 amp. Sorry. Relay is 12 amp really hard to see. Okay, there is an inductor or choke. It's hard to tell. Kind of capacitor, certain those. Shficon, sh Shficon capacitors. And they are really hard to tell how much. 400 volt, 2.2 mic microfarads. It's on and off button, LED, two color LED. Okay. This is good, good progress. So I researched a little bit more details about this little dude over here. So let's take a look first on component three again, because I already kind of do, did the brief one. But now when I looked into details, I have some findings. So first of all, uh, as a primary uh, circuit, what do we have here? So we have input uh, pins over here, which are gonna go in your outlet. Then we have output pins over here. So essentially get kind of, uh, they're going through, but obviously one of them is gonna be going through this relay and it's gonna be protected by this move. And there's also quite important thing we have two fuses over here and even despite fact that a relay can can handle 12 amp 200 whatever 77 VAC those fuses I don't know how to obviously check because there is no marking not much marking on, on them but they may limit your current so they may just blow at I don't know 5 or 8 amp or whatever this thing is rated 5 amp so they, they may just blow and because this unit is that's another one is super sealed like you won't be able to replace your fuse like no freaking way right so let's go further so on the back side over here there's an active bunch of active components which obviously regulate the voltage and supply voltage for the rest of the circuit um, so what do we have here first of all we have this uh, switching regulator which I uh, researched as on bright switching controller and obviously this number doesn't make anything uh, useful but OB2222 MCP uh, is particular uh, switching controller and uh, the data sheet I can provide let's say mark data sheet is available this is on bright here and the second one is this guy it's clearly it is some sort of voltage regulator and yes this guy is 117B it's, uh, it's a voltage uh, LDO from Taiwan Semiconductor so it's 0 0.8 amp whatever volt there are different combinations uh, available and different form factors but that's essentially one guy and then the most interesting part is this dude that's the module and seems like it's getting it's so sorry went off camera uh, this module is being sold as a complete unit from a company called tuya.com and it's called tywee E2S and it runs ESP. I forgot here ESP8266X. Uh, 
highly integrated uh, microcontroller which has Wi-Fi capability. So it runs, it has RTOS, it has one megabyte flash, 50k SRAM, support um, Wi-Fi BGN uh, and so on and so forth. It has I don't remember how many GPIOs. It's again I can provide the data sheet on this guy as well. And I found I found it online. So this is very interesting little unit and I'm pretty happy that I had um, that I actually pushed it and opened it uh, up and now I can I don't know how would I come up with the solution to make sure it can be opened and closed and I can just tinker with it or maybe I'm gonna be playing using only one and this one gonna be for experiments and experiments gonna be because I actually already researched and some people reflash this thing with generic firmware uh, to you know connect to whatever you want uh, if you try to build your home uh, network or uh, sorry completely uh, like uh, under your control network of those devices um, instead of connecting to some obscure online service. Uh, so this is something I uh, will be looking in the future and so far so good. I'm pretty happy about this little unit. The only one downside obviously it has limit uh, of 5 amp. Not sure it is a hard limit or whatever. Not sure uh, if those what kind of current those fuses is gonna uh, handle but the rest of it uh, by the way, I remember mentioned this is that this is um, like a choke. No, it's actually a transformer, and there is also inductor over here. This thing looks like a resistor, but actually is inductor because it says L1, and this guy says T1 um, again. But really hard to figure out how many pins this transformer has. Well, it has to be mi minimum three, at least to be a transformer of sort. Um, yeah, so here we have it. This is. This is CE Smart Plug from Costco. Uh, not sure, didn't see too many reviews online about this guy, but so far seems to be okay. And some of my friends using it and they are happy about it. It does the job well, integrates with uh, Google Home and Alexa and, you know, very straightforward. I still yet to try one uh, connect and to see how it operates but you know usually it has to be it will be pretty simple all right guys that's gonna be it um, hope you like these sorts of videos when I tearing down some bunch of things and if you have some suggestions have some ideas please comment if you like it please like and subscribe see ya next time